What is up guys, it is Power Bang. Welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. Today we're gonna be looking at the top three Town Hall 9 attacks in the air. And this is part of the start of a new mini series on the channel. I'm gonna be looking at the top army compositions for each Town Hall level from Town Hall 9, 10, and 11. So you guys can expect to see that upcoming here soon. We're gonna start at the obvious Town Hall 9s, looking in the air today. We'll follow this up with a ground episode soon. So stay tuned for some awesome Air attacks at Town Hall 9. All right, guys, so we have uh, determined that the three air attacks today that we're going to show, we're going to start off with the number three attack, and it's going to be the Queen Walk Dragloon. So we've got Agent Venom being hit by Matos here. You can see he's got offset air defenses, guys. Very key that you recognize this style of base and realize, hey, would it be possible to use dragons on this base? Now, if the are all of the air defenses here are on one side of the base, you see he's trying to get his queen uh, to take care of three of them. The queen's going to be responsible for this one here and these two over to the left as long as the, they path that direction. So what he does is he backs up this king over here with wizards, and the wizard's job is to actually shoot over the walls to take out the air defense. Now the king pushes his way through, they're going to engage the enemy king, and then ultimately those wizards are going to take care of business. You can see here the enemy king is down, cannon's about to go down, and they will step up now and target the air defense. Air defense number one taken care of. Air defense number two is going to be taken care of by the queen. She's going to get to that right after she engages the clan castle, which was lured by the king and wizards. We'll fast forward through this process. Rage Bell used here, though, to keep the queen alive. So, Rage Bell's in the army composition. There are four of them, and it's smart to use those on the queen walk to keep it going. Now it's time for the dragons up top. Here come the dragons. Balloons in behind. Little bit of a timing issue here. You can see the top left is very, very crucial. This dragon over here takes out the army camp and is also focused on some other buildings. That drives these dragons into the core, which is where he needs them to destroy the inner portion of this base. So balloons out in front here taking a little bit too much heat. I felt like the balloons could have been de deployed a little bit later. We're going to watch another uh, clip of this style of raid here in just a moment. So the queen continues to go around. All four air defenses now taken out, and she is going to continue walking. Now we've got rage spells on those dragons in the core. They're working their way through those high hit point buildings. The queen was no issue at all. They make quick work the queen one breath inside the rage spell and she is down so never fear uh looks like some backside balloons though do make it into the base take out the key buildings on the backside and then it's just a matter of finishing the base off one more archer tower left over that is that balloons get it done and that is the queen walk drag loon let's go ahead take a look at another example of this style of raid we're gonna look at number 37 here taken out by lexnos and as you can see, five dragons in this one, so a little bit lighter on the dragons. There were six in the previous. You want to use at least five in most cases, as many as seven. Uh, but for the most part, six is where most Town Hall 9s feel most comfortable, simply because of the camp space available. So as you can see, starts out with the baby dragon here. The goal is to send the queen up the wall using those healers a little bit late so that the queen takes out the air defenses as quickly as possible without losing any healers. Rage Bell is able to uh, help the queen stay alive and check out her pathing here. She is going to go around the top of the base. Now, time can be an issue in this style of raid. You've got to get artfully uh, good at when you deploy the dragons, and you typically want to do that on the side of the base where it's going to take them the longest to encounter the air defenses. Now, obviously, the queen, you don't want to wait the entire time for her to get all the way around the top to this final air defense. you got to start those drags early. So here they come. Dragons in first, and as you can see, they are tanking for the balloons. Balloons are going to sneak in behind them while they absorb the enemy uh, firepower here, and then the balloons will start to wreck things very, very quickly. Queen goes around the top, uses that ability, still has some, uh, you know, spells left over here. He's going to use those on the dragons. Again, making very quick work of the queen. One puff, and she is done. Now, one, one or two dragons here is in danger of dying to the air defenses. They are going to end up uh, falling, but that's okay. The queen is not done up there. She's going to continue her walk, and it looks like the dragons on bottom are going to wrap their way around. Still has the king as well, and you're going to see that king come down here in just a moment. So there he is up on the top. He's working his way uh, on the outside of the base here. 
goal being this air defense. He's got to help that queen get to it as soon as possible so it doesn't take out all of his dragons. So the air defense is down, the dragon survives, and it looks like there's one more air defense remaining in this base. And uh, it's just simply going to be too much base to take out. The dragons have already taken out most of the defenses, even if they fall here to the air defenses. Uh, the Queen and King have plenty of hit points left to take out the rest of this base, but that's not going to happen. It does look here like the uh, the Queen is going to make it through everything uh, that is, uh, you know, threatening her. And there it is. Last uh, few troops going at the Expo here. Still has a, a Swag Rage to drop. And that is that. So, you know, this can cut it a little bit close. That's why I have this ranked as the number three attack and not ranked in the top two, which we are going to take a look at here in just a second. All right, so at number two, we are going to be taking a look at the Queen Charge Lalo attack. First off, we're going to look at number 30 here. We'll cue that one up again by Matos. Thank you for the content, my brother. All right, so the Queen Charge, you got to have the healers, right? Got the healers, you got the Queen. Where do you want to go? You want to go at the air defenses for the most part. So here you see on top, he starts off on the edge where, you know, this is the farthest out air defense that he's going to be taking a look at. And again, uh, you just got to stay away from them with the healers. You don't always need to target them. So you're going to see the queen walk down the wall here. That's the goal. So here we go. She's going to go away from this air defense. Now the air defense is out of range of the healers and he intends to keep it that way. Ultimately sends in the test wall breaker. You can see a die right here at the wall. That is where he's targeting with his wall breakers. The sweeper actually helping him out, pushing those healers back away from these two air defenses, which is perfect, and there it is, the wall break in. This is where the queen charge comes in very handy. As you can see, the golem is going to lead the way in, as well as a few bowlers and, get this, the king. So they are going to kind of switch places, Air defense number one taken out. Air defense number two is about to be taken out here. Rage spell to help the uh, entry troops take out the queen. Take out the CC, and it looks like the Queen is on her way in once again. So third air defense now taken out, and we've got one more remaining. Now that one air defense remaining is oftentimes left up on purpose in order to help guide the Lava Hounds through the base. If there's no air defenses left up, the pathing is not certain at all, and it's very difficult to keep that Hound in front of the balloons in order to soak up traps and absorb the enemy fire. So as the Hound is out front, you can see the balloon sneaking in behind here with the help of haste spells, getting on top of those uh, enemy defenses really quickly, taking it out. Very, very solid attack here. They actually split, and uh, the balloons go south here. Rage Spell used is going to go ahead and get most of it taken out. The Queen helping out here. Uh, he's going to deploy a few more balloons. And kaboom, there it is. He gets it done, taken care of. Then he's got a couple more as well up top. Yeah, but why not just use the wizard? So it is done. Couple swag loons there to help with the cleanup. That is that. So let's go ahead, get to the next one for this style of attack. We will go down three of them to number 33, De Kampsel. De Yeah, there we go. Nailed it. Nailed it. I got you, my German peeps. All right, so here we go. Seven mile going in. Same style of strategy for healers for the queen charge portion of this. You can see he's got four wall breakers as well. And this one, two air defenses given up kind of, uh, you know, a lot of value here. And one thing that you can do with this charge is incorporate a jump spell, not just for your kill squad, but for your queen. And watch the amount of wreckage that a properly placed and properly timed jump spell can do for your queen. So here it is, taking out the... Uh, Bottom wall there gets the queen into the base. Now, poison spell, uh, not a poison, there we go, there's a poison spell. A little bit late, you gotta get that down a little bit earlier to help that, uh, that baby dragon go down a little bit more efficiently, but here we go. As she steps in, he waits on the jump spell, waits on the jump spell because he knows the queen's going to path into the CC, then the air sweeper, as she's kind of pushing her way into the base. As she's getting ready to take out the town hall and the enemy queen, that's when you want to time that jump spell in order to aid that push into the base. Here's the rage spell, and right about now is when the jump should come down. You can see it's not too early so that it expires before the queen actually hops the wall, but you can see the enemy queen is down, 
Rage Bell helps keep the queen up, and now it's time for her to penetrate the base even further, you know what I'm saying? So here we go, Lava Hound coming in from the bottom right, again, pathing to the air defenses left up on top, and then just targeted balloons coming into all of the defensive buildings on the edge of the defensive ring here, and it's very, very quick work of the uh, the base here from this point forward. So all of these uh, balloons ganging up on the defenses, Really nice work, a little bit thin in places here, could have come a little bit stronger, I think, with the balloons, but again, it's not going to matter, and notice the queen has taken out that whole left side of the base, and it is completely wrecked, so, Seven Mile doing a great job on this attack, again, this is the queen charge, Lalo attack, and the rest is just cleanup, guys, so we're going to look at one more of this style of raid, let's go ahead and look at a different war, we got one more to show, and let's go to number 21, I believe it was. Boom. Right here, Emiliano 931. This is the Queen Charge. He's busting out a few minions in this uh, raid as well. We'll see how those are used in a minute. But check out the division. That moat in the center of the base. He's going to exploit this quite heavily. So he comes in from the top. Wizard down outside of the range of anything that's going to kill it quickly. And that forces the Queen to her left. So... Now that's going to uh, get the king down, and he is trying to take out these buildings over here to funnel. Now, you see the test wall breaker come down. There it is, and you're going to see some more wall breakers trail in behind. So now that the queen has the wall open, where do you think she's going to go? First off to air defense number one. So that was beautiful. Now that the buildings are cleared, the uh, king uses his ability, clears those trash buildings. Watch the wall breakers as uh, the queen heads into this base. You can see them trail in, and he uses a rage spell to kind of help them through the wall. Beautiful. And then uh, more wall breakers even still are able to get him through. So awesome, awesome work on that. The CC is taken care of with the poison spell. The queen continues her charge. Now, in addition to the first air defense that he took out in the compartment he's standing in, he's going to get a second one as well. Look over on that far side. Queen works her way up to the top, locks on. Second air defense taken care of. Now he's got direct pathing here. From the third and fourth air defenses, this is the part that he's going to take care of with the Lalo. He's going to come from the bottom here, trail it with minions. As you can see, the uh, wizard towers are on the very edge here. So after he takes out the first one, right here is where he's going to target it. Then he's going to send in the minions behind the lava hounds and behind the balloons where the red air bombs are not going to bother him much. So queen continues her charge up top, takes out three Teslas as part of a Tesla farm in addition to the two air defenses. And now you've got the Lalo portion just sweeping through the base and a couple of uh, balloons there dedicated for the wizard tower to make sure it's taken out. So lovely, lovely attack here by Emiliano 931. I mean, just superb attack. Uh, he's Closing in on the final air defense now. Only 12 balloons as part of his composition. Queen charge, super, super strong. So on the right basis, guys, this can be incredibly effective. And if you guys are able to identify, if you're able to charge that queen in very, very uh, efficiently, wall break in reliably, this can be a devastating attack. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for the number two attack. It is now time to take a look at the number one attack, in my opinion, at Town Hall 9 through the air. All right, so number one, we've got the Quad Lalo attack. This is four Lava Hounds being used as part of a Laloon attack. Let's go ahead and take a look at some examples of this. We will go to the War Log real quick, like back to the Dark Looter Z War, and we will take a look at some high-level attacks against some solid composition. And here we go. Starting out with Fan Fan on Cecil. You can see this is our lowest Town Hall 9 coming up to hit uh, Cecil here. And he is bringing four Lava Hounds and 20 Balloons in the army composition. He comes out with the Queen and King. You're going to see a lot of Suicide Hero entries, which means them coming in by themselves to hopefully take out an air defense and uh, maybe some outside buildings. You can see the, the Baby Dragon over there used to create the funnel. King uses that ability, gets out of the way, and you're going to see the Queen step up and not only take out the Wizard Tower, which is huge for a Balloon Raid, but also get a couple of Archer Towers here. And as she hits that Queen ability, boom! She is going to be going through the gold storage and then also taking out an air defense here. At least the archer finished the job for her before the CC arrives, which is huge. And that is going to create only three air defenses left for four Lava Hounds. So Lava Hounds work their way through. You can see the pathing is not going to be ideal through the base, but that's okay. He battles this with heal spells and haste spells. 
First, the haste quickly get him through the base. He drops a rage spell for the enemy queen and poisons her while the lava pups are doing work against her. So here we go. Lava hound paths over the final section. And as you can see with the Tesla farm down there on bottom, that is going to be really devastating for balloons if he doesn't address it with the heal spell as he has done. So the heal spell is down. He loses absolutely nothing down there. Rage spell over the center of the base. And as you can see, the balloons move through it with no issue at all. Lava pups inside of the rage take out the queen with no issue. And we are down to two more air targeting defenses. So many balloons left over. 4xing this one because it's obviously a done deal. Cleanup troops are your lava pups and the minions brought in the camps. So this worked out really, really nice for the attacker. Nice work to Fan Fan. All right, next up, we have number 28 for the Dark Looter Z War. It is Bobo getting taken out by Golly. So Golly bringing the quad Lilo as well. As you can see in this one, another baby dragon for the funnel. And he's going to be bringing again a suicide hero kill squad in all likelihood. So the minion goes down, triggers an air trap. Always nice if it's a cleanup attack and you know where the traps are. Get rid of them before you send in the army. That is the goal here. He does the same thing on the outside of the other side. And look at this. He's going to get a baby dragon down. And it's going to be able to take out two of the skeleton traps in the base uh, before it actually creates the funnel. So this was an incredibly efficient entry here by Golly. Baby dragons are out of the CC. He's able to use one poison spell to counteract not only the enemy queen, but also the CC troops. Wall breaks in, and with those suicide heroes, in addition to just some wall breakers and one baby dragon, he's able to take out two traps that are absolutely key for air raids, take out the enemy queen, the CC, and also get a couple uh, you know, defensive buildings as well, including the archer tower. So really solid entry. Still has four air defenses up, but guys, with five haste spells and a rage, you're very easily able to overrun the base with your balloons and overwhelm those air defenses before they have a chance to really do much. So great angles taken here to the air defense coming from different sides by the uh, Lava Hounds. That's going to uh, reveal as many traps as possible. You can see the haste spells quickly get those balloons in on the scene, and they are going to uh, get to the second air defense just like so, and it is down with the quickness. Now in the core, Tesla farm. What do we do for Tesla farms? Boom, a heal spell, no problem at all. Those balloons get through with the help of the haste as well, and uh, sweeper on the backside down. So now we can backdoor some balloons in if necessary, but he decides, you know what, it's not necessary because all the air defenses are dealt with at this point. Last one being uh, approached right now by the backside balloons, and it's all about those... Uh, Wizard Towers, a little bit sketchy going into them because that is a lot of firepower for that pack of balloons, but Hey Spell makes it no problem. They head on through, and it looks like the loons get a good split before they go to the final few defenses. So that being said, they take out the final Archer Tower, all defenses down, just clean up for this one. Golly getting it done for the Quad Lalo. Last attack, guys, of the day. We're going to go to a different war once again. I want to show you guys one more iteration of the Quad Lalo. And uh, it is super, super strong. Probably the most reliable attack at Town Hall 9 in the air right now. So here we go. We'll scroll down. We're going to go to number 22, Girl Gucci. Shout out. We're going to get that USA Judo action on her. Here we go. 22 balloons as part of this one. Again, bringing that one baby dragon for the initial funnel. You can see it up top right there on the Dark Salt Factory. That's an inside joke if you don't know. I, I know that it's a spell factory. But anyways, we've got the king and queen working at 12 o'clock there, and their goal is to take out some buildings and head down the wall and uh, hopefully get the enemy queen. Queen should come out to engage the king as he walks down the wall. That is the ultimate goal here. Taking out that queen, you can see he's not bringing a, a skeleton spell, so that's the goal is to get that queen on the uh, approach outside the wall. So there she is coming out to engage. King starts to go through the wall. Queen takes out the queen. So this actually works out great. He's going to pop the ability, and look what he's going to get in return for that ability. Enemy queen, two wizard towers, archer tower. Gotta love it, man. Absolutely huge value for just the heroes right there. Now... Lava Hound in the CC makes it really, really nice to hit with air. So if you know they're packing Lava Hounds in the CC or Golems, for example, just swarm the base with loons. He goes that, uh, you know, clockwise Lalo deployment, sends most of his balloons heavy on the front side. And he's doing this because he's got a heal spell lined up, guys. So as these balloons kind of group up in areas without Lava Hound coverage down here, 
He's able to drop the heal spell, keep them all at full health. He's got a huge pack of balloons at full health, and he's got backside balloons from the top and a rage spell to get his main group through the last air defense and a haste spell to kind of get everything else through. Now, the first group is still all bunched up, all fine and good because the Lava Hounds are tanking, right? No uh, defenses are shooting at any balloons. Hay spells kind of get everything through, and it's all about to go down right now. Last Tesla to take out. This thing was absolutely crushed. USA Judo with the huge attack. Gotta love it, dude. The, the Quad Lalo, one of the most potent air armies at Town Hall 9 and has been for quite some time. Nothing new uh, in these videos, but hopefully you guys were able to pick up some tips and realize what's still good in the meta what might not be. I uh, hope you guys are looking forward to the ground edition of this particular video. It's going to be coming soon. Uh, but that being said, this is Power Bang. I'm signing out. If you like the video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. That's all I got. I'll see you guys near future. More Clash of Clans. Peace out, guys. <laughs>